Hi everybody, I promised that I will show you how to change the wallpaper <laughs> for the screen lock in elementary OS. So first of all, um, yeah, we need to find the resource for the, sorry for this, but um, elementary Grita. We click on here on the link. And you can see this is the source for the screen lock for an elementary OS. So you see that there is a background, I mean the gray solid core, which is really ugly and we want to get rid of this. And how? Uh, first of all, click on README. And here you see that there are dependencies. You need to have a GNOME settings daemon 3.27 on higher. How to check it? Really simple by this command. Copy and um, I will run this one. Okay, maybe here something like that. And now I can control shift V. Dognom control center. And you can see that there is a 3.28.2 version, but if this will be lower than the mentioned version, 3.27, all you have to do is just to type something like sudo apt up type and sudo apt up right. Something like that. Click it. Yeah. And it will ask you, uh, do you want to install and upgrade the packages? And you need to confirm by clicking enter and it will install the newest version. And then after that, all you have to do is just to type once again this and it will show you the probability 3.27 or higher version so this is it this is the first part the next part is just to copy all of this except this one because this is a little bit different and i explained it here it's this libmuter dash two dash zero right so you have all these packages from here Compile it into something like that. sudo apt install dash y and all of them. Uh, except this one because I changed it. And this is the library which is in elementary OS. So now copy. Click it here. Paste. Something like that. And I have those packages already installed. And okay, this command will install all of those packages automatically because the dash y informs you that there is no confirmation needed in this case. Okay, so we have the packages and now all you have to do is just uh, go to the um, app center, find the GIMP, install it. I have already installed the program uh, like this one. You just uh, click on the free and it will ask, do you want to install something like that? Yeah, that way. And GIMP will, inst will ask you exactly the same way. After that, you will see like I have it here. So you can open from uh, the app center, like open, or you can open applications and here you have new image manipulating, or you can just type GIMP here and you will see that there's program. You will have to open it and open the file you want to open from pictures, for example, I don't know, maybe this one, Canada, open. And please remember, you need to export the JPG file or bitmap as a PNG file if you have a, a if you don't have a PNG file. And after that, you have you need to click all files and here you will have a PNG format. So we have to choose it because we need this here. And all after that, you go to downloads, greater master data. 
and you replace the texture png with uh, with this image okay replace please export okay this is it and quit and if you have already a png file like i have for example in pictures i have a texture png and yeah this the name it's really important you need to call the file you need to rename the file to texture dot png if you have a png file like i have some uh, yeah this is so you have to click and um uh, rename and after that you need to rename text to some yeah and click enter to rename the file i have the file so if you have the file uh, like me already prepared uh you can copy this file uh copy and go to downloads reader master data and replace the texture png with the file you want to replace and paste and it will ask do you want to replace and yeah so we need a texture texture png file with our wallpaper what's next this is really easy you will see here they explain it all you have to do is just to open the terminal go to cd uh, in my example, it's um, my username downloads mm, grid master because I extracted the file, the zip file here, because I already downloaded it and extracted uh, as I showed you. Yes, here you have the option to clone and you download the zip, and you download the zip and then click with the right button and extract here and this will be extracted so you have extracted zip file here you have everything what you need in this location you can extract uh, to the temp folder or another folder it depends on you doesn't matter now we are the, in the root folder in the root catalog Britain master so all we have to do is just uh, a three behind file explains type this I will copy it and I will paste it here and wait a minute and I will show you something mm, I will list the folder LL, and we have a build I need to remove it because I already did it previously I'm going to remove the file or if you have a build file you can also remove it here by going to uh, download scripter master and there will be a build folder you have to remove it each time you want to change the wallpaper on your lock screen you have to remove the build and rebuild and recompile the source code so this is the most important thing so after removing the build we just built it once again by copying this and being in the root folder here there is no build folder anymore right so we built it once again method build prefix usr it built it up and now we see that there is a build folder inside of this look at this you see there is a build folder and inside there are files necessary for us and all of that is for us then we are going to build folders the build right we are here next is to copy the ninja okay paste right it's compiling now the source code from the build catalog build folder it compiled it and now all we have to do is just to copy this command and paste it here in of course we are inside the build folder so it is installing and voila it's installed it's 
change the background to the wallpaper we wanted to have in our system. And what is responsible for this? One entry in Compositor, uh, but now in build here, Gritter Master Compositor. As I explained it here, opening code. Okay, opening code. And this one simple entry decided that we can change the background in the lock screen. The most funny thing is that when you go to the deconf editor and you can install it, you can find out how to install the deconf. I don't know where it is. Uh, never mind. I will type it deconf. Deconf. Deconf editor. Okay, I'll be careful. Uh, there's something wrong with this. Never mind. So there is no greater in deconf. I don't know why. But it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, I think that's all. Mm, I have changed the the bound. 